Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Shalom. Let go and let God. Let go all the worries and anxieties in life and let God. Let God take over it. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Finding comfort, consolation, and strength from our Lord Jesus Christ. If you have the privilege to go to an ordination to the priesthood or religious life, you normally hear this fascinating gospel, the gospel of St. John. In the gospel for the sixth Sunday of Easter, Jesus speaks to his disciples about the coming of the Holy Spirit. He tells them that he will ask the Father to send them another advocate, the Spirit of Truth who will be with them forever until the end of time. This advocate will teach them all things and remind them of everything Jesus has said to them. As Catholics, we believe in the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Holy Trinity, and it is through the Holy Spirit that we receive the grace and strength to live our lives according to God's will. And always remember, it's always God's grace. It's always God's will. Not my will, not your own will, but we are here to do God's will. Jesus' promise of the Holy Spirit is a great source of comfort, hope, strength and consolation the holy spirit is not just an abstract concept but a real and present force in our lives when we receive the sacraments especially baptism and confirmation we are filled with the holy spirit and become part of the body of christ be sealed by the Holy Spirit. Jesus tells his disciples that he will not leave them as orphans, but will come to them. This is a powerful reminder in our journey of life, that even we feel alone, isolated, or abandoned, God is always with us. Emmanuel. God is with us in our sorrow, in our pain, in our day-to-day -day life. Through the Holy Spirit, we are connected to God and to one another as members of His body. Jesus uses the term advocate to describe the Holy Spirit whom the disciples were received. Another word to describe the Holy Spirit is Paraclet, paracletos, a legal term meaning one who offers defense for one another, un abogado. Jesus says that he will send another advocate. Jesus himself is the first advocate interceding for his disciples with the Father. What's the good news in our gospel today? What's the consolation and strength that we can cling to? The good news is we are not alone evangelizing. We are not alone in our journey traveling towards our destination. We are not alone in our life when we feel like we are abandoned. We are not alone if we feel like we cannot carry our cross no more. As we continue to reflect on the readings, we are reminded of the profound gift that Jesus has given us in the Holy Spirit. Even though Jesus is no longer with us physically, He has not left us on our own. He is physically, spiritually present in the Holy Eucharist. 
in our day-to-day -day life. Through the Holy Spirit, we are not alone. We have a company. We are invited to a very life of the Trinity. It is a personal relationship, a life of communion and love. Jesus speaks of the coming of the Advocate, a Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send is His name. This Spirit will teach us everything and reminds us all that Jesus had said to the power, the wisdom, and the strength to understand and live out the gospel message. We are empowered to be witnesses to Christ in the world. All of us are asked to go and announce the gospel. This is beautifully illustrated in the early Christian community which is completely driven by the Holy Spirit. After the resurrection of Jesus Christ, until the end of time, the apostles preached the good news, the good news of His resurrection, with such power, and many were baptized, converted to faith. The Holy Spirit acted through them, inspiring them, to boldly proclaim the gospel and perform miraculous signs and wonders. When the apostles laid hands on the newly baptized, they to receive the Holy Spirit. As we reflect this beautiful gospel, we are reminded that evangelization is not something we can do on our own. We need to let the Spirit act through us. We need to ask His help and support. When we share the good news with others, we must do so with a deep awareness of the Holy Spirit's presence and guidance. We must be open to the Spirit's prompting allowing Him to use us as an instrument of His grace, His love, and His mercy. The love we express for each other is the love of the Spirit. It is through the Holy Spirit that we are drawn into the life of the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is through the Holy Spirit that we are able to love one another as Christ has loved us. May we always be open to the transforming power of the Holy Spirit in our lives and may be bold witnesses to Christ in the world. We are ready to announce that Christ has died Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. God bless you all, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day.